Let's go live now to Christchurch and our reporter Nita Blake Person. Kia ora, Lisa. Yes, I'm joining you tonight from Latimer Square where a vigil has just got underway for those victims of last Friday's attacks. Hundreds of people have turned out here tonight for hymns, songs and a, a time of remembrance. People have poured in uh, from all over Christchurch and I'm sure further afield. Earlier today I met with a group of uh, members of the Auckland Muslim community who had come from uh, Auckland to pay their respects and gratitude to the police and first responders from last Friday's attacks. Bashir Ramad Khan today uh, brought gift baskets for those on the front line and he told me if it weren't for their heroic actions, more lives would have been lost. We're very fortunate in a country like New Zealand where you know, this, this tragedy happened and nobody wants it and nobody is prepared for it. But when you really look at the days that followed after, on the day and the days that followed, it happens. They, they, they manage themselves so professionally, our, our, our police, our ambulances. And in doing so, including our medical uh, team, in doing so, they have actually saved so many more lives. And, and today the numbers would have been worse off, uh, but it's not the case. Um, I, it reminds me of um, an incident that actually happened uh, by community. And there's a, there's a reason behind why we're here and why we're, we're looking at those people who've done so much. And, and it reminds me of a situation in Pakistan where my community in Lahore uh, faced sim um, tragedy where over 100 people were killed in two mosques. It's, it's, it's coincident, it's, it's, uh, uh, but it's what happened. And the terrorists attacked and killed over 100 people. But they never received the support. Uh, they never received this compassion from the public uh, and the outpouring of love and unity. Uh, they had to fend for themselves. And the perpetrators today are still at large. Nothing happened. And the community had to gather together to help themselves uh, and make a move on with their lives. We have two of those members in New Zealand and it was interesting how they compared what happened to them and how New Zealand got together and basically stood as one and basically had a very simple message that hatred does not belong in this country and that's the most important and reassuring thing that I've seen uh, in the last few days. And what was the response when you arrived here from these first responders to see you and to see your gratitude? Um, they were most humbled. Um, they did not expect it. And neither do they wanted it. But I said, no, it's, it's what we would like to do. It's a very small token of our appreciation. We'd love to do more. And they normally get missed out. They're the people who work 24 by 7 trying to help keep us safe, keep, keep us alive. Uh, and they do so much. But we sometimes fail to recognise that and appreciate that. And I thought this was probably very timely for someone to stand up. And I'm, I'm very... I feel so fulfilling in my heart that we've been able to do this.